These niggas with no fuzz on their head, ball caps, leave a lesson in your skull. I'm a blessing on these tracks, get the reverend on your song, nigga. Yeah, God disrespected and you gone, lost it all, I never panic. I learned that from Brother Mo. Okay, have you ever seen a goat on ten toes? Hundred plugs on the beast, hundred plugs on the bones. Paint a picture of my sleep, yeah, God, Van Gogh. Brody told me if it's beef, he go snatch a nigga soul, so real. I squeeze till he make it off a roll. We ain't got the same blood, but we bound by the gold. Oh, I love, got the realest niggas walking too. as my bro. Yeah, I need some cookies. Where y'all watching this shit from? This motherfucker, yeah, God. I'm in the clouds with my dog, Jay Aaron, today. Tell him where they can get at you at. Get at me on Instagram at Aaron Odo's PMI. That's H E R R I N G. Tap in. Odo's PMI. And uh, on there, it's a link where you can follow my personal page as well. Personal page to Facebook? No, uh, my to Instagram. Yeah, to Instagram. Oh, yeah. It's two different J's for sure. Definitely two different J's. This nigga crazy. You ain't gonna get all that funny ass. Fish tackle box <laughs> dinner shit on the on the business page. You gotta follow the personal page for the personality. Cause he got one. I know y'all probably think, oh, you got this quiet ass cameraman in here. No, oh, this nigga is not quiet. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all can get at me uh, on Facebook too. Just search my name, Jay Herring, and uh, in my bio, my Facebook business page is in a uh, bio. So tap in on that too. So tell the people about yourself, like what you do, what's your talent, why I got you in this chair today. Well, I'm uh, 24 years old. I'm based in Pontiac, Michigan. Born and raised East Side. And uh, uh, really, I'm just trying to build my platform, my photography platform. For real. And uh, trying to get my name up, trying to stay busy, raising my son. That's pretty much it. The key trying, word. Trying to, trying to hustle. That's all I'm trying to do. The key word was photography. My nigga nice with that shit, man. I need y'all to tap in on the Instagram that he told y'all. I'm going to put it on the video for y'all because I know niggas can't spell or listen fast. Man. <laughs> so, shit. We gonna talk about shit, photography like, cause I'm also into photography. I do that shit more than rapping and anything else now. I'm just a, a first of all, I was just a regular working guy. And uh, I've been around photography my whole life cause my granny, she a photographer. So um, I could have been doing it, but I never took it serious until my granny started getting older. And people kept telling me, uh, you should help your granny, help your granny, or you should take pictures. So I picked up a camera and like two years ago and took off from there. But as far as it, what it's like, it's pressure, but I like doing it. It's my passion, so I could have gave up, but I'm still in it. Yeah. When I first when I first started taking pictures, I only started taking pictures because I felt like nobody else was taking good pictures for the rappers. Like everything I do now is is really the root of it is rap. <clears throat> but like you were saying, I've been around it. Like I always had an eye for a good picture, but I was never I never had a camera because I wasn't like focused enough to be disciplined to grind and grab me a camera. I was with my phone type shit, and I was a rapper, so I was like, man, fuck being a photographer, but like, as I was coming up in rap, I started noticing like, damn, we really don't got the resources to have our quality looking like the Detroit rappers, the Chicago rappers, I'm like, our pictures blurry as hell, they fucked up, mm-hmm. our videos ain't hitting like that, so that led me to pick up a camera, which was about, that was probably about three years ago, and then after the first year of shooting, that's when I actually fell in love with it. Because it just, in that one year span, bro, I had more opportunities than I ever had with rap. Yeah, it do get, get you like to network. I met people I thought I'd never meet before. It linked me with different people that's local and out of town. Mm-hmm. 
and it just in the photography community that's that's based in Pontiac, we all kind of link and we all do our work different. So that's good. That's a good side of it. Ain't nobody hating on each other. Mm -hmm. We all work and we all just learn and grow. And yeah, that's a, that is one of the good aspects of photography in Pontiac. I actually love that part of being a photographer because we shoot each other money, all type of shit. But as far as the consumers go, that's really what make it difficult for me. Because they don't really understand our job. They don't understand the editing <coughs> process. They don't understand that I shot somebody before you, fam. So I might not be able to edit your pictures immediately after. Exactly. This. So it's like the consumers is what make it, what make you like, is it worth it? But besides the consumers, like, can't nothing really match the feeling of capturing a dope ass moment. Yeah, because you feel it soon. Like, as soon as you like look down at your camera and take a good shot, you already know in your head. Sometimes you don't even gotta edit or touch mm -hmm. the picture, you already know. Like this, that. Mm -hmm. So, what's your favorite type of shoots? Outdoor. Outdoor. Because I like using the natural light. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, you get you get to play around with the light, the different lighting. Because <clears throat> I, um, you still got to teach me about the manual. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the setting on the manual, but I'm shooting it manual on the manual setting, so. Just the lens, not manual? Yeah. Okay. But, the, um, shooting outdoors, you get to play, play with it a little bit more. But I'm trying to transition more into the studio. Yeah. I like shooting outdoors more too. Because trying to get lighting perfect inside is hard as hell. It is. It's like really one of the hardest things for a photographer. Well, me specifically. I know Reg out cold with the light indoors. We probably got to sit Reg down. Both of us. And yeah, I, mean, I, I like to pick, I like to pick his mind sometimes too. Like I, I text him sometimes off and on and tap in with Red dope as hell. Tap in with Red visuals by Reggie B on all the social media. He on Snapchat, all that shit. He got day to day videos dropping now. I think Reggie turned up. Like he was saying though, like we really got a dope ass photographer community in Pontiac. I'm gonna get y'all hip to some more of them. Later on, right now, this moment about Jay Aaron. Well, right now, what I got going on from the, uh, the month of October to November, I'm doing a fall pop up shoot. You can uh, inbox me, DM me, Instagram, Facebook, and it's a special going on. So by next year, the price is gonna gonna be going up. So if you tap in into this video and you need a Four session booked. You can book me now, and uh, we can go from there. Man, tap in and get him on the faucet. Ah, the you like shooting kids more or adults more? I think I probably get more engagements with the uh, adults, but uh, most, most people like inquire. Most people, they ask it or they be like, I'm gonna get with you, I'm gonna get you to shoot me. But most of the time, they don't never follow through. So probably with the kids, I get probably more for sure business because they people don't really play about the, the kids. Mm -hmm. But uh, all in all, it's probably like a, it's like a two-way, two-way love for it. I love shooting kids, I ain't gonna lie. And they be like, Kids and on the age too. Yeah, it do. It do depend on the age, but I like kids more than adults. Just period, because adults they get real picky. They want to look at every picture after you take it, and they be that's, like, "That's that's true." Especially for like cute, cute women. Like you will see a good shot, and they'll be like, oh, "I don't like that." For some head. And I got one other shot of place. They look at you like delete. I, and they and they so smart they know where to delete button at. So you try to play it off. You try to play it off. Like I don't want to delete it, but I really want to keep it. So yeah, I know what you mean. I love shoot kids more because that's the worst. I hate going through that with grown women, grown niggas. Like 
I know how to do my job, fam. We not finna stop after every picture so you can see the picture. It's a wrap. Okay, besides yourself, who your favorite photographer in the city? In the city? Probably Solomon. Probably Solomon. Probably Solomon. Because I like the way he carried his platform. And um, he, I like the way the quality of his images is. Yeah, Solomon go hard. I like Solomon. My favorite is Gil. I know niggas gonna be like, oh, you fucking with the police. Fuck y'all childish ass niggas. Gil go crazy. Gil, Gil dope too. And I, I agree with what you said about platforms and shit. Solomon platform is dope. Smooth as hell. But I, I love Gil shit. Yeah. Like, even like the Pontiac Panther shit when he go live. With the words and stuff. Man, I that, be like, and, and that goes back to everybody having their own unique style and nobody shooting. One dimension where everybody got their own name. Mm -hmm. Say like, say like a real high profile person was looking for a photographer and they needed two images to pick the photographer. What images would you use? You can send them to me, I'll put them on a video so people can see them.
you already know what it is. It's Lil' Key Money, man. We in the cars. We'll be at God. Hey. It's so hard to maintain that shit once you raise with some killers you can see when you look in my eyes. Normally niggas will get the money and they instantly they just they think it got a analyze. First shit that they thought of the big money was satisfied raised with some killers. And they put it right towards they grab it. Niggas gotta get better at like figuring out what they need to do. Tapped in in every other hood, bitch. I got mob ties, a youngin' slapping Arvin and Sanford right there where Hob died. See, yeah, when jam, this shit so piff. Watch the crown rise, the plug in traffic. I need that package, meet me at Five Guys. Only drop fire when I rap. You can see the torch. Y'all playing with toys, little ass boys. When I hopped off that porch, keep me a Drake, King of the Jungle. You should hear a roar. Yeah, I like to rap, but I love trapping. That's my favorite sport. If a nigga